de bando sangue blá 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 uh, okay, I don't know Sky Dish Jelly Moss with Bad Boy Gaming look what we have here I just noticed that big gap right there doesn't mean nothing though we have ourselves a Cala da oh my god that is seriously one of my actually probably my favorite box art ever like something about that blue it it it, it just pops B-E-A beautifully are you guys ready we're cracking this open. It is basically Spire Bluff Canal, Chandra Torch of Defiance, Aether Flux Reservoir, or a Masterpiece or Bust. That's uh, that's how these boxes are going. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to cracking, Captain. Where is my knife? The old scissors will do. Shoink. No, this, like, seriously, this box, the box art is just great. I should have bought a bunch of these boxes back in the day. Like, like, around the time I first got back into Magic, this was a set that I think was dropping at the time. So, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. What year is this? Yeah, what year, what year was this? What year was this? We're going to look together. Sometimes I, we have to, like, remember I'm on camera. We have to show you guys as well. Um, wow. Approximate odds. One in 2,160 cards will have a masterpiece. You guys see that? Holy smothering tithe, baby. Can we just get a little date on here really quick? No. On the back of the pack, it'll probably be easier to find. Showing the date is 2000. Come on, man. Don't take so long, wizards. Ugh, I'm just going to have to Google the dang thing. 2016. There we go. I thought it was 2016, but we had to be, we had to be certain, man. All right. We are looking. That was the worst shuffle in history. Let me drop these and we'll do a little truffle shuffle. Someone's like, Joey, you can't shuffle for crap. Yeah, you'll never be good at poker. I and I have that in my EDH commander deck. It's a very, very good card. Okay, come on, come on. Are you guys ready? Who has opened an invention? Bragging rights for darn sure if you've ever opened any invention, masterpiece, or invocation or expedition. You have bragging rights. I want to hear it in the comments. What was the card you pulled? If you haven't opened anything of that nature, you're not allowed to comment on this video. You're just not, okay? You're not in the cool club. There's only so many of us who can be cool, all right? And if you're not in that cool club, I'm sorry. But, you know, we us cool guys got to stick together with other cool guys. And those who are not cool cannot be cool with, with us, all right? Okay. Here we go. This is who are we doing this for? Every person gets three packs. Donovan, good luck. Donovan, if you if you crack one of these six sons of bastards, man, I, I'm going to give you many, many reaches arounders. Uh creeping mold. God, that nice, nice little shiner right there. And a servo token in the back. Come on, baby. Let's go, Donovan McMad. Come on. Donovan McNabb. Is that a guy? Football player or something? He did stuff. Donovan, let's go, baby. Come on. Remember, it's this or bust. Like that, like, yeah, servo, death lock trap. Yeah, a lot of bulkage in the way, guys. A lot of bulkage. And there's a very, very likely chance no one will crack a masterpiece. It's about, from my experience, one in three boxes. This was a random purchase. So usually the odds can be a little more stacked against us because of that, unless you purchase, like, a whole case. But every now and then you get a little lucky. You know, we'll see. Uh, there's Pioneer Boy. Nothing. Oh, that first one bites the dust. Donovan, you out of here. Billy Jean by my side. No, that's not how it goes, right? It's Billy Jean, not my love. I'm just a girl. Sit it up in the... Oh. Lance, good luck, pal. Let's see what you got going on here, man. Sorry, I can't moonwalk, guys. Here we go, Lance. Good luck. May the value for be on everyone's side. Whoa, we jumped the gun there really quick. We're like, we want to see that gold. He's like, oh, no surprise. There's no gold there. Aether by Marauder, Incendiary, Noxious Gearhawk. Man, this card dropped to like a, a buck? What's this card at? A buck 25. Dollar 25, Bishop. A dollar 25, Willie. Isn't that the same price your mother charges for a blowjob to be some dog shit? Oh! Keep it going, baby. Keep it going. Keep it going. Joey's off his meds. Here we go. All right, Lance. Lancey boy. You gotta do this, man. You gotta do big things. Ah, wildest dreams. You know, that's 
basically, if you pull one of these cards, it, it would have to be one of your wildest dreams. They're not easy to pull. Not easy to pull. Um, I have had the pleasure of cracking many open, though. And it's a it's a still a rare occasion. Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. Look at this little guy. Look at this little guy. He got two Gear Hulks. Nobody does that. But this guy does. Good job. Hey, Lance, you got a couple Gear Hulks in your wildest dreams. Hope you're into that kind of stuff. There once was an awesome new set to see, and the name of the ship was the Billy O3. The ship goes out and brown and brown, but the little Billy boys blow. The only way the Billy will blow, the bean girl, cigar, and tea and rum. One day we'll never get down, bring a hype bing boom. All right, here we go. Ready? Veteran boy, inspiring vantage. It's worth a few bucks. <sighs> Come on, Austin. Do something dirty, man. Come on. Sugar, tea, and rum. Let's go. One of those three. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Big stuff here. Ooh, paradoxical outcome. Weak. Bunch of weak sauce, man. Is that, is that it? Are you already done? No. You get one more. Three packs. I got to move the packs up first. We gotta, I got to pluck the three packs first from now on, guys. Okay. Come on. Let's get that masterpiece, baby. Snare Thopter, Marinette Master. Not doing it. Not doing it. Well, that, it was fun while it lasted, Austin. Take your sugar tea and get out of here. We'll see ya. Chain Doggy. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Three packs. You're getting these two on the bottom here. That's right. You're a bottom bad. Here we go. Here we go. He's like, I'm a what, Joey? A bottom bad. A what? A bottom bad. <laughs> here we go. I said, bitch. So my wife walked in the room the other day, and I was like, I was like, I was like, bitch. <laughs> Who knows what that's from? <laughs> Who knows what that's from? I, it's, it's so funny, dude. Uh, Chan Doogie. Chan Doogie. Let's go, baby. Get some of that gold, man. Get some of that gold. Ooh. Really, though, like, these are the prettiest cards ever designed by Wizards of the Coast. It's not an opinion, it is a fact. Usually I say that's my opinion. No, this is a fact, okay? If you argue it, you're just wrong. All right? They, uh, they're gorgeous, man. They are gorgeous. Somebody get one, please. Aether Hub, cool. Key to the city. Nothing. It's been real, it's been fun. But Chan Doggy, it hasn't been real fun. <laughs> Usually I get in these breaks because I'm well aware of the risk everyone's taking here. Um, and I feel like it eases it eases the blow to them, you know, because only one person can truly. Well, I mean, there's a few people that can make out in like in one opening. You just get a masterpiece, and then like a foil of something or other, or a, a shiny little planeswalker foil, or you know, you, you have to like you have to you have to have a really good freaking box, man, uh, in order for you to make out cracking a Kaladesh box at this point. Boxes are four hundred and fifty dollars. 450 bucks. That is just nutty. Between 400 and 450. Uh, the price has actually dropped since I purchased this one. I was a little upset about that. Blooming Marsh. Hat dogs. Ah, uh, no food for you. Come on, Robert. Come on, Bobby. Bobby doing big things. Bobby gonna whip out his thing. Here we go, Bobby. Come on, Robbie. Bob, Bob, Robert. Robert, come on, man. Get the gold. Bristling Hydra. Shap poopy. Oh, back to back bristling. I remember that actually did happen in another opening once. And I was really excited for that until I looked up the price. And don't remember every word you said. Come back in time. Good luck, Greg. Good luck, Greg. May the pools forever be on your side. Let's go. Let's go, Greg. Let's do this, Brutus. Oh, somebody give this man a masterpiece. Da, da, da. Nope, not going to happen this pack. What's up with these upside down cards? Architect of the Untamed and Thriving Turtle. Thriving Turtle. Guys, is there any value inside of this? This has been really bad. This has been really bad. <laughs> this has been really bad. Okay, really bad. Um... Even concealed land. Wow, the prices on some of these lands. Did they reprint a concealed courtyard in this whole cycle recently? Just crap. The prices are jacked, dude. Like, this entire set is worth, like, next to nothing. 
Oh my god. I, I'm looking at prices right now. Like it is really next to nothing, man. Unless you pull like a masterpiece, who the hell cares? Like these boxes are the cards are almost garbage. There's no way in hell you will get your money back opening one of these boxes. Unless you hit like a huge masterpiece. That's it. And the odds of doing that, like I said, are about one in three boxes, so the odds are way against you, man. Territorial gear, territorial gorger, an island, dude. God, Greg, it's terrible. My mom always told me, be careful what you do. Don't go brown. <laughs> Three for Joey. Joey, good luck. This is Joey, Nam, not Joey Moss, but Joey. If anyone's gonna pull a masterpiece, it'll be Joey. Joey, you ready? Let's do this, Bruce. Joey, come on, Joey. Come on, Joey. Come on, Joey. Joey? Concealed card gear. We're just talking about you. How you're not worth much. Swamp and an emblem. Come on, pal. Come on, baby. Let's get this Slim Shady. Here we go. Uh, can't we do Boss Me Defense was a really good card this day. Master Trinketeer. Still a cool card. Or Trinketeer. Reckless Fireweaver. God, that looks sweet. This reminds me how much I like the fire and uh, the lightning. The lightning works. Uh, and orbs and foils. Man. I really appreciate all that. It's really cool. Fans used to send me stuff like that. Like the foils, like, like with the orbies. I, I got excited. Do we have something here? Last new. Oh, we have a foil, that's what we have. We got the last new bulkage. And then we got ourselves the module. Planes, trains, automobiles. Sorry, Joey. If anyone can do it, it's going to be Little Mac. Well, Little Mac from Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. He is going to do it. It's Little Mac in them, in them sexy green little shorts of his and that black top. Uh, he is going to rock him, sock him here with his green gloves on. Here we go, Little Mac. I beat Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. I'll have you guys know from start to finish before. Yeah. So, if you want to brag about something... There's something to brag about. <laughs> I was a kid and I did it. Actually, but I like <coughs> maybe like was like ten or twelve when I did it, and then I did it again when I was like I was. I remember dating this girl, uh, Crystal. I was like eighteen, nineteen or something. I brought my Nintendo over her house, or they had a Nintendo. I brought my Mike Tyson's over. It was a good time. Botanical Sanctum, Thriving Rates. Oh, that's probably worth like fifty cents or so. Okay, a lot of foliage going on here though. You guys notice that? Come on, little Mac. You guys ever beat a really, really tough video game? Like, Ninja Gaiden, I thought was pretty tough, man. That's a tough game to beat. But if you ever beat a tough video game, I want to hear about it bragging right, pal. <sighs> this little bastard's worth about a buck. Dollar and ten cents. Gosh, man. Still no inventions. Little Mac, we'll see ya. You're defeated. Along came a Garrett, and he was like, Joey, I'm going to get me some of that gold. I'm like, okay, your name's not Charlie, okay? Charlie, you're not Charlie Bucket, are you, Garrett? You're Garrett Gladbag, all right? That's who you are. Let's go. Can we do this, man? Ooh, focus got all crazy because it's staring at that chick's face. Um, excuse, that's, a, that's a dude, by the way, it's staring at. Okay, we're going to cover your face up. There you go. We got Scrounger, Engineered Moit. Might not bring me much value there. All right, Swampy and the token dudes. Gosh, come on. Please. It would it would be the coolest thing since sliced bread. What is up with these one every like upside down like every now and then an upside down card? Uh, Authority of the Council is that worth anything? Maybe. Mountain. Dang. It tr trust me, it is asking for a lot to just randomly buy a box and hit a masterpiece, but. I thought if anyone could do it, Joey Moss and his fans can do it. So that's why we're here. Nature's Way, the old guide, dubious challenge, well, like nothing. Dang it. Garrett, appreciate you though, pal. La -da 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 -dee -da -da -da. Sam is gonna take it home. Sam, Sam, take us to the promised land. Sam, please. Or at least get some value out of this box. Like, like let's get at least a $10 card. Please do something here. Here we go. Doing something here. Bowman. Diabolic Tutor. Fun name. And the old Smuggler's Copter. The car was so busted, man. It, it just like saw play in every deck. It was nuts. Swamp. It got banned for a while. Yeah, seriously. 
Like, it, it was just nutty, man. It was just, it, and it's, it's such a good card, too. A 3-3. Three, three. Takes one to crew, and you get to do the draw discard. You get to go loot, you know, like, it's crazy, man. Refurbish, Metalwork Colossus. Followed by nothing. Dang. Sam, it's okay, man. You buttered my biscuit. I appreciate you, Sam. Thank you for buttering the biscuit. Let's keep it going, man. Let's keep it going. Come on, something, something, something. New Nissa, Vital Force. There you go. Got ourselves a mythic. All right. We'll take it. Island and Servo. I'll just show you guys my bell after this. Right, you want to see the bell? That's a rare, a rare showing of the bell. <laughs> There's the bell. Okay. <laughs> The saddest part of this is I just realized something. You know what that something is? In more than half the cases, shipping this is going to cost more than the cards inside. That is the sad case. William! Is that going to apply to you as well? This person looks so geeked up. Like, like oh my god. She is like... like I don't even know if they're va they look like vampires. They look really stoned. I mean, just take a look at everyone here. The only one who really doesn't look that high is probably this person. Everyone else, geeked up, you know. Uh, it is what it is. All right, William Ed, good luck. William Ed, let's go. William Ed, please, William Ed. Fairgrounds, ace, and no. Madcap experiment. Terrible. Come on. It is feeling kind of weak right now. I, I think a lot of us have given up hope at this point. But if you made it this far in the video, say, uh, I can't believe it's not butter. That's all we got to hear. Mm, the pummeler. Oh. Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. Dale. Let's go, William. Do something big, man. It'd be right after this. Two craft exemplar, nothing. B baskets. Baskets of nothing. Dustin's last to go. Bing, 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 bing. Justin, good luck. All boils down to this. Can Justin crack the masterpiece? Yes or no? Another upside down card. I don't know what's going on with that. Justin, can you do it? No. Justin cannot do it in that first pack. You got two more packs to go. Dude, it'd be so sick if we got on the very last pack. I would flip the script, man. I would flip the script. Uh, here we go. Midnight Oil. We'll take it. Ah! Last pack. God. I think total value in this box was maybe like 60 bucks. For my expertise. $60. And that's probably being generous. Aether Hub. Ah! Eliminate the competition. I bet the masterpieces make the cardboard taste terrible. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you to everyone who had the balls to jump up in this opening because this was not this was this is not for the weak of heart, man. Um, you are literally having a blindfold on, standing at like triple the distance when you're firing a normal dart at a dartboard, and you get spun around three times. That. <laughs> And then you're told to go ahead and, 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 sh and throw your dart. That's like what it is to be in one of these kind of openings, okay? It's, it's high risk, high payoff, though, when it does happen. But, yeah, no such luck this time around. But if you guys enjoyed this, definitely take a moment, hit the like button. If you want to participate in these kind of breaks and you want to just throw your money out the window, which we have done so many times, it is disgusting, then by all means, please take a moment, go to the description of this video, say something about more open that up and then you'll see my link to patreon that is where the pissing away of money begins right there